Hey everyone, I'm Shreya and today I will be telling you my story as a Gandhi fellow and the beautiful one year journey I've been through. Here's where it all started. Like any other college student, here I was confused about where I would be landing next after college. I didn't want to land in a 9 to 5 job. I needed to explore, find a bigger purpose to work than mere self-sustenance. That's when I heard about this unusual term called fellowship through a session in college. I went ahead and googled about them and had all these opportunistic terms like leadership, change maker, social entrepreneurship. I was hooked and that's how my journey began. At the beginning, I met so many new people coming from all parts of India and I started embracing diversity. Soon, I was sent to my location, Sheikhpura, Bihar, where I experienced a beautiful rural setting. Here, I met with a team who influenced me greatly. Together, we went through several processes where I gained pedagogical knowledge, understanding over education sector, discovered grassroots level challenges and learned to share and reflect over our actions. From a self-absorbed person to being more concentrate towards the society, fellowship has impacted me in a way. I also discovered a path called social entrepreneurship and urged to work towards it. Other big interventions like Polo Sham, ANP and SDDNM helped me work on skills like community mobilization, team spirit, event management, influence without authority, project management and people management. Not just the interventions but my experiences such as living in a fellow house, conversation with peers and alone time has helped me learn to coexist, empathize better, to negotiate, take criticism better, express my views, listen to contrasting opinions and identify my emotions. I saw it every day as a chance to be better. Like everyone else, I have a self-set goal that I want to achieve, which is gain enough confidence to be able to convert my thoughts into action. And how am I working to gain this ability? That is through constant self-assessment, taking the help of my peers to identify my strength start implementing solutions to challenges and grabbing opportunities. For my individual development plan, I am taking up online courses, listing down things I can improve in my circle of concern, listing down previous interdimensional ideas, research suitable business models and journalizing about a new skill. All of this took place while contributing to the organizational objectives. Along with IDP comes a location development plan. But my location comes with more than just a few challenges. Such as it has low literacy rate. It is one of the poorest districts receiving backward grant fund. There's high rate of migration, especially between the month of October to Feb. Very few colleges in Sheikhpura district. Constant protests by TET teachers for salary increment. And huge shortage of teachers. Currently, to implement an intervention, we will face the following challenges. Election time till November, worsening pandemic situation, teachers engaged in extracurriculum and low network regions. Some of my personal challenges include restricted observational research and time management. To mitigate these challenges as a team, we can assess the urgency and the need for an intervention. Mindset mapping of each major stakeholder given the current pandemic situation. Framing a day-to-day -day task for the team. Daily process sharing between the team including the PL and DL. Day sharing for clear communication. Achievement of a personal goal will be met through the success of an intervention. Thus, I look forward to an unexpected but an even more exciting journey. Thank you.